the fight card is historical. You know, and when you talk about height, it's going to be astronomical, right? Because you have, you know, the first female, you know, title will be given out tomorrow. Right, so you have Patricia Juarez. She's going toe to toe with Christine Knuckle Stanley. You know, and Christine Knuckle Stanley, she's undefeated. You know, I mean, she leaves carnage inside the mighty Trigon. She shows up and she shows out. You know, Patricia Juarez. You know, she's a beast to be reckoned with. You know, then we also have Jomi Escobosa versus Louis Mello. Right, and Jomi is a beast. You know, Louis is a beast. You know, then we have, you know, the main event, which is Matt Dillanoy versus um, white boy Hialeah Champ. You know, then we have, you know, a young lady, you know, she's fighting, you know, Josette Cotton. Listen, this card should be called Gnome, N-O-M-E, Night of Main Events, because every fight on this card could be a main event. And the undercard, you know, they're the real deal as well. I like every fight to end up inside a finish. I always said, nothing in the Mighty Trigon cage tomorrow, July 16th, at the Mighty Hard Rock Hollywood and Coliseum is gonna go the distance. I wouldn't be surprised if the undercard still that spot because they see that everything is hovering around, you know, the main card. But I mean, the world wanna see Christine Knuckles because she's, she's just a force. You know, but I think every fight, you know what I'm saying, is a must see. In each one of those women bouts, somebody's getting knocked out. Somebody's getting knocked out. That, that's a guarantee. And it's kind of hard to say, I guarantee. But I say it all the time. You know, every fight will be a finish. Nothing in the mighty Trigon ring is going to go to distance. You got to keep one thing in mind, that this thing has a 98 percentage TKO, KO finish rate. Only two fights have went to a decision, and one because of a DQ. Other two because of a DQ, and two because of a decision. But other than that, everything else has been a finish. They're gonna need a seat belt and a Bible, even if they're sitting at home for this one. You know, this right here is gonna be a roller coaster ride full of tri full of thrills and chills. It's gonna be action packed. You know what I'm saying? From the time that it starts to the time that it's in. And the best part about it, even if they're in the arena or even if they're at home, they're going to all anticipate when is the next one. I wanted to change, you know, I wanted to change how individuals look at combat because the boxing ring has always been enjoyed by boxers and wrestlers, the squared circle. MMA fighters have always had the trigon, I mean the, um, the octagon, right? So I said to myself, and if you guys look and you see these, triangles inside my hair, right? They're upside down. And if you know me, I've been wearing this haircut for over 14 years. So when they say, what was the blueprint? Where did it come from? And I point here, I always had it here. I just needed to bring it to fruition. So now that you see, the triangle is the most, is the most prominent. It's the most dominant. It's the most respected, you know what I'm saying? Area for combat. Triangles, pyramids. On the back of your money, the triangle. When you look at the Bermuda Triangle, when you look at he was caught in the love triangle, triangle is more attached to, to our lives more than we can ever imagine, you know? So it's only right that we bring it, you know what I'm saying, to fruition, you know? 98% KO slash TKO finish rate. This thing is not a gimmick, it's not smoke and mirrors, it's the real deal. And tomorrow night, everybody's gonna understand that BYB, we're not just here to make a statement. We're here to show people that we are the next phase of evolution when it comes to bare knuckle entertainment all across America, all across this great nation. This month is explosive because it's July, right? Tomorrow night, we're gonna light up the sky like it's 4th of July, you know? And this right here is something that the people is gonna anticipate, you know, they're gonna look forward to. You know, this is what we do. When you look at the track record, you know, We've been around since 2007 doing this stuff, bringing ESPN, CNN, bringing everybody out to the backyard, you know, in 100 degree weather. So we pretty much got it down packed. Now this next level, we've already, you know what I'm saying, them patting it out. So we're just here to show the world what BYB Extreme is about. I started because a lot of individuals, you know, they had complications. I know what some of these guys had, I know what they didn't have. Most of them, you know, they didn't have a college education, they didn't have a high school diploma, you know, they didn't have a skill, they didn't have a trade, but they did have their two hands. So I started seeing a lot of these individuals fall wayside to the system. So I came up with something, also being hand in hand with Kimbo Slice at that time, you know, I told him, I said, hey, listen, I got an idea, you're going pro now, so we're going to take it to a whole nother level. They couldn't see it. They told me I was making the biggest mistake, but now 
nominated for two Emmys later. You know, Rolling Stones, National Geographic, Vice Media, Netflix. I asked them to this day, do you still think I made a mistake? Look like I'm pretty, uh, look like I'm doing pretty well to me, you know? So now it's like, it, we are here. And just like we was giving back in the backyard, we're still doing it on a bigger stage now with BYB. You know, it's all in here. Like they have no idea what I'm capable of, you know? And I sit down and I was inside of a, a small room with four walls and I come up with concepts that help entertain and shape, you know what I'm saying, the pathway, you know what I'm saying, how people look at, you know what I'm saying, combat sports, you know? So it's like, I knew in the backyard, I didn't have the resources, I didn't have the people that say, hey, listen, I can make a call and you can pull a string for me. No, I had to be creative because that creativity has to substitute for everything else, you know what I'm saying? And it played out. This business is 90% strategy, 10% execution. And I think I'm playing the right game. Yes, sir, this year, definitely. I'm um, looking at December. We're going to end it out with a bang.